From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is raising money for food for the poor. You'll be helping families in Haiti and Guatemala. Your one-time gift of just $50 will provide food for a year and water for life for one child. I'm only asking you to give once, and you can give right now at MarlarHouse.com slash food for the poor. That's MarlarHouse.com slash food for the poor, or click the food for the poor square in the right hand column at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. You can also use your mobile phone to give. Call pound 250 and then, when prompted, say the word hope to speak to an operator. Thanks. A Kentucky woman claimed she was Hillary Clinton when she was pulled over by police for a DUI. Well, obviously she was lying about that, uh, but then she was lying, so the police immediately thought maybe she really was Hillary Clinton. Britain's Prince Philip says he is retiring and he is stepping down from his official royal duties. That means that he will no longer, um, uh, he'll, uh, he'll stop doing, um, you know, I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. Apple CEO Tim Cook says Apple is going to invest a billion dollars in a U.S. manufacturing fund to boost American jobs. But Ryan Seacrest will probably get those jobs, too. Well, if I had not uh, read this next one in the news, I probably would have thought this was a storyline from All My Children or The Young and the Restless. In Sudbury, Pennsylvania, bail bondsman Christopher Hauptman, he was already charged with bigamy. But he is now accused of lying when he applied for a license to marry the daughter of his current wife. Authorities say when Hauptman applied for a license to marry 18-year-old Kaylee Page Durovic on September 1st of 2016, he wrote that he had not been married previously. Well, in fact, he had been married to Shannon Dietrich, Kaylee's own mother. In fact, they were still married. Dietrich says she married Hauptman in Florida in November of 2015. The Hauptman says he divorced Shannon, but Shannon says she never received a notice of a divorce action and she considers herself still married to the guy, who married her daughter September 16th anyway. Now, here's for a, a little irony on this. Christopher Hauptman is the owner of Pennsylvania Bail and Recovery in Shanikin, and yet he still remains jailed in lieu of $300,000 bail. A business manager who stole more than $7 million from Alanis Morissette and others was sentenced last Wednesday to six years in federal prison and ordered to pay $8.6 million in restitution. D do you make enough money in prison to pay that kind of restitution? Because if so, I need to go to prison. A researcher has observed female dragonflies apparently faking death in order to avoid males pursuing them. The researcher saw a male dragonfly pursuing a female, at which point she dove to the ground and lay motionless on her back until the male left. So, in other words, it's the dragonfly version of, not tonight, I have a headache. A baseball fan was grazed by a bullet during a Cardinals game at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. <sighs> wow! You know how you play baseball? It's changed since I was in Little League. More than 3,000 flight attendants and around 200 pilots have filed reports with American Airlines complaining that their uniforms are making them sick. They claim the uniforms have caused them to break out in rashes, hives, and to have breathing problems. So you folks at American want anti-rash uniforms? Gee! What, you are so spoiled and arrogant, it's no wonder we're all ticked off at the airline industry. A high school in Wisconsin forced its students to evacuate the building Thursday after a concerned parent called the police on somebody walking into the school wearing dark clothing and a mask. A student came to school wearing a Darth Vader mask. After all, it was Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. An Oregon man working for a tree service company tried to push his co-worker into the wood chipper. That is not going to look good on his quarterly review. Einstein Brothers Bagel Chain just launched the world's first caffeinated bagel called Espresso Buzz Bagel. The bagels each contain 32 milligrams of caffeine, which is about a third of the amount found in an 8-ounce cup of coffee. So here is yet one more place you'll be asking the person behind the counter if they have any fresh-made decaf. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button 
to be notified when I post new videos. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video with your friends. Hey, the Marlar House store has just been updated. You can find t-shirts, mugs, phone cases, tumblers, audiobooks, and a whole lot more all on one page. You can check it out right now at marlarhouse.com slash store. Have you signed up for the Marlar Sheet? It's free, and everybody who subscribes is automatically entered into monthly drawings for prizes. For May of 2017, I'm giving away a Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirt and mug combo. You can sign up for the Marlar Sheet free at dailydoseofweirdnews.com. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at dailydoseofweirdnews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!